All right, here we are trying to solve a multiple pulley system problem that's on a slope. The slope is 30 degrees, 10 kilogram box, and we have this green cable here that's all under the same tension, and on the end, it's pulling off at 20 degrees with respect to the slope, and we have these two pulleys. One is connected to the box. So we will first of all want to draw a free body diagram, and we want to solve, uh, for the purpose of this problem, we want to find out what tension is. So let's draw our box. We're going to roughly have something like this. And what we're going to do actually for a free body diagram is we're going to draw it, we're going to include this one pulley. Now we can do this uh, and ignore this little connection here because there's equal and opposite forces pushing on this. Uh, so it, this pulley isn't going to be accelerating away or towards this box, so we can just forget about what's happening there. If you imagine maybe you had um, two people in here that are pushing on each other, uh, that's not really going to affect anything else because they're if they're not moving, they're equal and opposite forces. So we just ignore all of the internal forces. And we just want to draw the free body diagram with the external forces acting on it. So first of all, uh, let's actually define our coordinate axis. With sloped problems, the best thing to do is to draw your coordinate axis uh, that's on the plane of the slope or in the direction of the slope. So we would call this x prime and y prime, where x prime is 30 degrees off of the horizontal. All right, so we're going to have tension here pulling away from the box uh, where it's connected to it, also at this part of the pulley, and here it's going to be going off at 20 degrees. So we can say this is tension, tension, and tension. We're also going to have a normal force that's pushing perpendicular to the surface, or normal to the surface, so we'll label that. And we're also going to have the weight pulling down. Okay, so now what we can do is we'll say that sum of forces in x prime is going to be equal to zero and sum of forces in y prime is going to be equal to zero because this is all in static equilibrium uh, and then first of all we'll calculate weight w is going to be equal to uh, we'll just write it over here w is equal to 10 times 9.81 10 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared so we'll have w is equal to 98.1 newtons all right, now what we can do is we can break down W into its X prime and Y prime coordinate, uh, components. So here we'll have, uh, this will be W Y prime component, and this guy would be the W X prime component. Uh, now this angle here is also going to be 30 degrees. We talked about how to find that angle. It's just some simple geometry, uh, and there's a little shortcut we talked about in the last video using your hand. So definitely check that out if you're confused about how to get this angle. Uh, anyways, moving on, this is going to be W Y prime, so this will be W times cos 30. Okay, and W X prime here will be W sine 30. Okay, so if we're looking at this, if we want to calculate the sum of forces in the y direction, we're going to need to know W because it has a y component, a y prime component. We're also going to need to know n, or normal force, because it's only in the y prime direction. And we're also going to need to know something about tension, because tension here has an x prime component, and it also has a y prime component in this section of the rope. But if we're looking at just solving for tension, we can actually solve it by just doing the force balance in the x prime direction, because we'll need w x prime pulling this way, and then just tension has Two part, uh, two, the two tensions are pulling directly along the x-prime axis, and there's one pulling partially along the x-prime axis. So we can actually just solve this without even looking at the, the y-prime direction force balance. So with that said, we'll sum the forces in the x-prime direction. We're going to have negative w sine 30, so that's negative 98, oops, 98.1 times sine 30 okay and then we're gonna have plus 2t that's this tension and this tension pulling right along the x prime axis plus we're gonna have t cos 20 right and that's this x prime component of this tension okay so this is all gonna be equal to zero so we'll have uh, let's do it this way we'll have t times 2 plus cos 20 is going to be equal to 49.05. That's just 98.1 times sine 30. So we'll bring this along to the other side. So we'll have t is equal to 49.05 
divided by all this stuff, 2 plus cos 20, cos 20. And we're going to solve for this. We're going to say the tension is going to be equal to, if you punch this in your calculator, you'll get 16.69 newtons. 16.69 newtons. And there we have our answer. So that means the tension here is 16.69 newtons, tension here is 16.69 newtons, and tension here is 16.69 newtons. So basically everywhere in this rope has the same tension and we were able to find that without even using the force balance in this y prime direction. Now if you want to solve for the normal force, you can definitely do that, but if the question only asks for tension, then uh, you can just skip right ahead and just use the x prime components.